Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, the Combat System, KetchJitsu.com. Gonna go over some half guard lockdown stuff. I have a video on the lockdown, how to put it in the electric chair, check that out. I'll go over a calf, uh, your knee or calf like you're doing a triangle choke, okay? Find his ankle with uh, my foot, and now I stretch both out, down and out in Beverly Hills. Now what this does is if, he, put your head together. if he's got a good base here and he's a wrestler and he's squishing me with the body weight, once I put this lockdown in, outside leg first, try and over, find the ankle, I stretch him with both legs, pinch tight, and I, he puts his weight way lower on me. He's not in control anymore, I am, okay? But what you don't do is do this. A lot of people do the, ha the lockdown wrong. A lot of space here, they just stretch one leg. What I wanna do is Kung Fu, I wanna stretch, you can see my hands, I wanna stretch both out like this. So I want to take up the space, pinch my legs, stretch both out, and now my legs are very tight, so it's hard for him to pass. With the lockdown, what you can do is I can whip him up this way, I can whip him up this way. I'm controlling his hips. So I'm doing a lot of sweeps and stuff without just my arms. I'm using my legs. Keep your base, keep your base. okay? So no, just relax. Just relax. It's always keep kind of base. So here, here, here. I'm just using the legs to whip him from side to side. Okay, from there, come to this angle, back to the head. Most of the stuff I do, even though you don't need to for the electric chair, um, I, if you have a good setup of posture control, I make the guy over posture, that's how I set my electric chair usually. But I'm gonna go to the jaws of life, forehead, forehead, jaw, jaw, that takes the space for the underhook, boom. All, all, basically all half guard styles, you want the underhook on that half guard side. So now that I'm here, okay, I need to be wrapping up. All right. Okay, here I grab the ribs, and I'm going to do a mini bench press, mini whip up. I'm going to whip my legs this way, catch your base, and you there, and I bench press them over here. Okay, I don't do a huge full bench press. Because if I do a huge full bench press, and I come up on this single here, he could counter with a Darce choke or a Japanese necktie. I throw this wizard in, I go over hook, over hook my arm. He'd be going in here and looking for a Darce. Okay, guillotine, Japanese necktie. You don't want that. So you don't want to necessarily come up on a single unless you're like a world-class wrestler and explosive and able to do that. So again, he's got head and arm control. Head and arm, head and arm. I'm here, here, here. Pummel in, get to the ribs. Now I'm gonna whip him with my legs and I'm gonna do a mini whip up, mini bench press. This 45 degree angle, here. Now here's where I wanna work. I'm here, I'm hiding in. If his knee's down, Okay, what I want to do for the old school sweep, bring it looking. You, most people will base this way. I reach underneath, all the way under, and grab the top of the toes, just like you do old school sweep. So, no, here. Okay, so here, I'm under, I'm trying to get under him a little bit, and under his ribs, like jack him up a bit. I'm grabbing the top of the toes, I'm folding it in. I got my lockdown still, and I'm gonna drive in, I still got the lockdown from here. I undo the lockdown. I scissor off. I back step. Boom. Pass. Come into side control. Okay? So there's the old school. I'm not going to go too much detail over everything. If he bases out, okay, when I go for that whip up, so we'll just start here. I whip him up here. Yeah. He's way out there. Or, bring your knee in. Or I start to do this. He feels what's up and he sprawls that leg out. Boom, he's a strong guy. Now, as soon as he does that, simple thing is he's giving space. In Jiu Jitsu, it's a battle of space. He gave space. I could simply bring that butterfly hook in and look at this. I can cover it here. Boom, there's my half match, sweep him out. That's simple. Or I could go to full guard. Okay? Bring the leg all the way through, start working full guard. So, if he opens that leg up, that's why old school is really plan A in my opinion, because if he opens that up, now it opens up everything else, okay? Up. Overhook my arm, yeah. So in reality, he'd be wizarding this arm. So now, I could grab this knee, I might be able to pull off kind of like deep half sweep. So if I could come over here, or he, that's posted up, I could see grip it here, and I could use this and grab the seatbelt and whip my legs this way, and I could just easily sweep them that way. By lifting his knee and grabbing the ribs and the whip up, I'm actually lifting his body weight um, here and here, more sideways, 
in different vectors three-dimensionally. This knee is getting lifted this way, the ribs I'm actually pulling this way, and the whip up I'm pulling that way at a 45. So here would be like a simple style sweep and that I pass. Uh, I could reach way under here and start working all kinds of deep half kind of sweeps, whatever. I could just come here, pinch them together, bring that, use the legs, whip them, same thing, and then work the pass. I could pass now and go for the electric chip. This arm here, I can pass, go to his armpit, so from the outside, I pass here, and now I'm gonna use the whip of the lockdown here and throw him off to the side. His legs up on my shoulder. The flexibility and straighten them to be nice. It hurts already. But the reality in a tournament, I'm gonna put torsion by twisting my body and hurt his knee as well. So I'm gonna go here. Okay? You okay? <laughs> my legs are getting rubbery. <laughs> Come back on top. Okay. Okay guys, lock down, boom. Here, here, jaws of life. Boom, then you whip up, boom, he based out. Now I go to wherever I'm going. So, I could go to the electric chair, I could go to the electric chair sweep. Let's do that, I pass this, and then here I'm throwing him off to the side, whoop, trap it. There's my tap. If that didn't happen, I release some pressure, I'm gonna come on top. I still got the lock down in place. I come here, or here, and I test his flexibility. I bring his knee to his head. And I'm stretching the lock down too. He's just all contorted. If that didn't work, I come here. He's in a bad spot right here. If that didn't work, that was a hip lock, and I'm stretching this. I pass my head. I come to a full hip lock position here, okay? And I stretch my lock down, and I turn his body like a accordion here. Okay, if uh, I can use the lockdown on most people, yeah, or you can just triangle your legs and come out even farther. Or you can also triangle your legs, come up farther, contort them more. I got his head sideways, body twisted sideways, and I can push his knee. If you needed to, if he was like a super flexible guy. This hip lock was totally there in the fight, uh, uh, competition, I should say, not a fight, because there's no hitting, and Eddie Bravo versus Willie Gracie, two, and Mata Morris. So uh, the hip lock's totally there before you need to go to the truck and the kamikaze and all that. Uh, above and beyond that, let's show the secret. And what the secret is, is wonderful, it's magical, and people just tap. I'm here, I got my hard lockdown on the guy, and this isn't just me being a big strong guy. Look mom, no hands. I call it the magic armless toe hold. You guys can see me tapping people with video and people go, oh, Dan's just a big guy. He's just hurting the guy's calf and that guy just tapping the pain. It's not a lockdown. I have the lockdown. This comes from Gokar Shevichian. I have the lockdown. I undo the lockdown. My feet, I undo it. My foot finds the top of his toes here and I'm toe holding him with my feet. And I usually put my hands out in magic hands. Everyone's like, oh, what was that? Oh man, you just happened. So this is really, really great. Now some people may miss it, maybe he slips out if he's got small feet and I gotta refine the lockdown. So there's a slight risk, you might have to reposition. But certainly it's very, very cool and most, no one knows it now, until now. And I can put that, or I can put my tool hold in, my, my magic tool hold, I lost it there a little bit. Whoop. Uh, speed not quite big enough, so I lost it a little bit. Anyway, I might be there, I might be doing it again. If I can keep the lock down ready. So we're here. I throw him. Okay, I'm coming under. I'm trying to electric chair, maybe. He's basing. He's got good balance. He's strong. He's benching up. I can sometimes tuck under his knee and end up in this position. I'm working on this. I undo my lockdown. I put the magic tool hold over here. I do this. And I do them both at the same time, dual solution. He just got dual tool holding. So, four, if you come in, what if he doesn't tap? Well, I don't know. Here, I got more pressure. I got this pressure here on the leg still. I got this pressure here still. I can always pass. Boom. Here, look, I'm going to try and go on the legs. There's that. There's that. There's mounting. 
Okay, so that's all the cool, fun stuff you can do from Half Guard. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's my kid, Shishu style, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks.